Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're back on Three Days Grace. After that last song, um, I thought it was a really, really good song. And uh, thanks to the Patreon for that request. Um, and the, the song that they're doing this time is called Give In To Me. Now, I know this song very well because it was uh, a Michael Jackson song that he um, he did with Slash. And it's one of my favourites that they did from that era. I think it was on the Dangerous album. Um, that's just before Michael Jackson turned into like some sort of... Um, R and B artist, you know, I, I didn't start after the Danish album. I, th I thought his album started going down, downhill, if you like. I loved him in the eighties and the the early nineties, if you like. But this uh, this giving to me is one of my favourite songs, especially with the Slash influence on it. So I'm I'm, I'm definitely excited to see this because I want to see what Three Day, Days Grace do to it and what they do with the guitar solo. So uh, let's go. <laughs> Wow, that's a, a really energetic approach to a very energetic song as it is. I mean, I think the message of the song, because I've never really thought about the message of this song, is that someone is trying um, his best to get get with a girl that he likes, um, and she's she's having none of it. She's uh, and he's like, "Come on, just give in to me. Go on, <laughs> you know, it's what I desire, etc." But uh, yeah, I think that's the message of the song. Um, I will look it up at the end because, like, although I liked it, I've been. Let's start again. I like the song as a Michael Jackson song and I listened to it, but I didn't really think about the lyrics when I used to listen to it in the 90s because um, I was young and I was like, oh, this is a great song. It sounds good. And that was it. Didn't think of it. Now that I've started this reaction channel, I've started listening to songs, even the songs that I listen to normally and thought, mm, I wonder what the meaning of this song is now. <laughs> you know, because it's changed my way of thinking about music doing this reaction channel. And it's that's good for me because I feel like I'm analysing songs better. Um, but yeah, this this version so far is really really energetic, and he's doing a proper justice to um, to, to the Michael Jackson version. Before they go into the uh, breakdown bit and the uh, the other bit, it it may be that he's with this woman and she's she just plays him uh, and she's she's like she gets kicks out of making him feel hurt, but she could also be the one who makes kick, gets kicks out of making him hurt if she's not with him, because it's like when someone strings somebody along just for the for a laugh if you like. So I'm not sure it could it could be multiple interpretations this, but wow, I love I love the way these guys are doing this song. So basically, he says, "I won't be doing this forever, and if 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 I if I leave or if I you know fuck you off, there's gonna be like it's gonna be your fault, and you know 
I'm not going to be around forever. So, you know, you either take me as I am or you don't. <laughs> See you later. Wow, that was really good. That was a, such a good cover song of one of my favourite Michael Jackson songs. Obviously, the like the guitar work was was different to what Slash did. That's not a bad thing. I enjoyed both, but uh, yeah, I think I got the message of the song right. Uh, and I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna look it up now just to make sure. Because, like I said, I never used to listen to music and listen to the words. Um, I used to just listen to the melodies, and that was it. Right, so this is what Michael Jackson said, because he wrote the song with somebody else. He says, um, This particular tune is based on a romance, but the highlight of this particular case is that the singer is dealing with a toxic partner, and from the onset, uh, Michael Jackson expresses a sense of disappointment at this reality. He has apparently perceived her as someone he could build a fruitful, lifelong relationship with. Indeed, the chorus and the title itself centred on his ideology of this individual acquiescing to his love. And this specifically within the context of the singer having an emotional romantic dependency on this woman. So on one hand we can say the prevailing sentiment is the singer trying to convince this lady to give in to him. But on the other he seems to also have concluded that the, the chances of her truly making an effort to understand him are minuscule. So he's in some sort of relationship with somebody who doesn't respect him, this, that and the other. And he's seen another girl somewhere else um, who he thinks would be a lot better suited to him that's the main message of the song i was halfway there i'm not living on a prayer though um so you got yeah i got half the song but obviously i didn't realize he's with somebody else when he wrote it so yeah that makes a lot more sense now but what a what a cover that was i really enjoyed uh i really enjoy three days grace at the minute because like you say i've only done two songs but they've both been really really good and uh, this one's my favorite so far because I, I knew this song and i like this song anyway if you like my videos please like and subscribe if you want to support me on patreon then the link is down below thanks for watching us to see you on the next one